All right, this has been less than 24 hours, but I'm going to try getting the small one off. like the paper did in fact make it very easy to get off. Oh, it comes right off the concrete too. Yeah, get some mortar in there, trim the edge a little. That should be good. That was still really soft though, so I'm not going to mess with the other one yet. I mixed up just enough mortar to glue it in place. I don't need to make it all smoothed out or anything yet. I just want it to not move. from the outside. Hopefully I can reach. This is gonna work well. Oh yeah, I call that total success. It doesn't need to be pretty or anything right now. I can do all the smoothing out later. I just need the overall shape, and it looks strong. Yeah, I think that's how I'll do all those windows. And actually, you know, it's really nice that it has all this uh, lumpy texture on the outside because when I smooth it over. Uh, the concrete will get into those lumps and stick. Hmm. This is actually a lot harder than the other one. I'm not going to mess with it yet though. But if I'm going to do these, I need to start filtering out some sand so I don't have all these rock chunks. I have this, but the holes are too big. All right, I think if I cut this in half and overlap it, that'll be good sizes. That's about right. Shaky, shaky, shaky. I don't like how this camera doesn't beep or make the red light pop. <laughs> check this out. I know, anyway. I'm like, is it going? <laughs> it's going, right? Yes. Oh, look, sand! Whoa! Still sand. Excellent. It's 
been about 40 hours since I made this. I might be strong enough to lift up. Yeah. I guess it's time to find out. Don't you fall. Don't fall. This thing is very flexible. Oh. I think maybe I shouldn't say very. It's fairly flexible. Alright, now I need to cut a V. Yeah, that solidifies into something hard. I kind of have a possible idea for these things. into a shape that might possibly be useful. Possibly. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I need the other end. Alright, I got one in there. It wasn't too bad once I cut a couple sticks to fit. Got them both in there. I'm sure there's tons of little cracks in there. It's just being held together with the burlap. But that's all right. I can just uh, dump some soupy cement on the top and it'll soak into all the cracks and glue them shut. Ooh, looks like it came out all right, though. Well, that is pretty good. This guy will be my tester to see how much stronger this gets just on its own. And it's not as thick as I was thinking before either. I was thinking it was like a centimeter thick, but it's like half a centimeter thick. That's nice. Those are pretty lightweight. And at that thickness, I should be able to lift up like a dome section without too much difficulty. The only question is, will it hold its form enough to get it up? there. So let this harden for a few more days and see how stiff it gets. How stiff it gets. One down, three to go. 
Not counting all the circles everywhere. Ooh, a lot of circles. Circles are easy though. Uh, I did this one a little neater than the last one. Okay, a lot, a lot neater. I also only did one layer of burlap on this, and the first one was two, and I put paper under this one. The first one I did not, and uh, I did put paper under the first bucket one, and the bucket one kind of came off more smoothly than this one, so um, I've got the paper under this one. There's some. Yeah, looking good in there. What I just realized is that concrete piece for the windows, before I cut it, it was uh, four feet by five feet, so 20 square feet. And the dome piece is 40 square feet, so it's only twice as big as that. And I could move that piece no problem. I should be able to move a piece twice that weight without any difficulties. But I am gonna need it to be a little more rigid. Now the, the dome piece will be curved in both directions, so it'll have uh, better structure that way, but I'll probably want to let it harden for more than a day and a half. I'll have to see how long it has to harden before it gets, you know, kind of rigid. But yeah, just in terms of the weight, that should be no problem. Whew. Of course, the other way to do it is to cut it up into smaller chunks. You know, smaller chunks, more seams, more uh, finicky business to deal with, trying to get them to match up. Yeah, the bigger pieces I can do at once, the smoother it'll go if I can move them into place. Ooh, that thing looks good. <laughs> 